Tony's has put a, such a long message in, I'm going to have to like copy and paste it into a notepad. Wow. Because it's breaking the formatting. Whoa. Um, okay. Um, hey, Tom and Ben. Hey. Ever heard of the show, um, actually? Oh my God, if there's a fucking game show called um, actually, where people correct each other. I haven't. That sounds amazing. The host reads a statement about a nerdy topic that is false. And the contestants are meant to correct the sa- statement by saying, um, actually? Wow. Allow, you to re- allow me to regale you with a Warhammer version of Um Actually. Oh, nice. Okay, I won't read. I want to hear what they... Uh... The triumph of Eulanor is marked a pinnacle of the Great Crusade. Imperial forces led by Horus and the sons of Horus decimated the Orc forces, driving them from the system. After the battle, Horus was awarded the title of Warmaster and the Emperor announced his retirement from the Crusade. There's actually more than one thing wrong with that. He did say, um, actually. God, I don't, I don't fucking know. Um, actually, I think you'll find that the forces at Ulanor were led by the Emperor, not by Horus. And, um, actually, I think you'll find that his legion was called the Lunar Wolves. And it wasn't until after the oh. triumph of Ulanor that they were renamed to the Sons of Horus. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Fucking... Got him, coach. Fucking got him. I should go on that game show. As long as it's about Warhammer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, they got, they got um, actually to heck. Double whammy. Uh, oh, fuck. I read a good, a good thing on the 40k lore subreddit. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, oh, hit me. Hit me. It, I, want, it, I want some fucking awkward subreddit nerds. It was, oh, it was great. Emperor, last words. Do you know what the last words of the emperor were? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Hit me. This was like recently. So. Oh, Malkador the hero. Uh, Is that his last word? He announced that Malkador should be forever remembered as Malkador the hero. What were the emperor's last words? Uh, okay, all that. You did it. You defeated me, Horus Lupercal. You really are Warhammer 40,000. <laughs> <laughs> Lol, said Horus. Lomau. Easy. <laughs> that, 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 that's it. Yeah. Like, just read that. It's like, it's perfect. <laughs> well, now anything else in that the final book that comes out later is going to just disappoint me. Uh, yeah. Um, and one of my favorite parts think, of this is somewhat... He didn't say that! (laughs) (laughs) Just that. Just... (laughs) Yeah, and then I love it. The guy corrected him. He says, you did it. You really are the Warhammer (laughs) 30,000. Fixed it! Um, (laughs) Fixed it for you. (laughs) Someone... Someone's saying, I don't say that. <laughs> you already are Warhammer 40,000. Why uh, has that guy got 107 upvotes? I think because there's a lot of fucking nerds that take that shit very seriously. Uh, That's my favorite part. No, no, my favorite part is the guy who's like tried to fix it to 30,000. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yes, he actually said, You are the Warhammer 30,000. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, just great times. Bam! There you go. There's some hot, hot law, hot law for it's you. The hottest laws. Thank you, Tony K. I might have to check that out. The Um Actually Show. Although, if I don't know about the topic, probably less fun to watch, right? Yeah. Oh, they did it again. Thank you, Tony K, for supporting the uh, Warchild fundraiser. And they say Ben is right. I meant to say. The, orc ag- the assault against the orc war boss, Urlax Fortress, which was led by Horus. For the part I was looking for was the Lunar Wolves. One point for Ben. I think I deserve two points, actually, for correcting both errors. Um, actually, I think Ben deserves two points. Does that get me two points? <laughs> yeah. You get one point for fixing the error. Right. Okay. Nice. Very good. Relax has donated and says, Bomb 10. Just donating while on a break from work. Hope you got my Pacigio. Pacigio. It took trying a lot of new techniques, but the challenge was fun. 
I hope your rimming of the world is going well. I will catch you later from the vodka boy pile. What package? I didn't get a package. There's a package on your desk right now. What? Right now, there's a package on your desk. Has, has it got a human foot in it? It does. <laughs> oh, no. I can't open it on stream then. Shit. Uh, uh, I think we'll we'll open it next week. Next oh, week on the stream. I, I want to open it now! Uh, I think it'll be better next week. Okay, we'll do it next week. Um, I trust I trust Tom. Uh, so Relics, then it's five bucks. Thank you, Relics. Ooh, thank you. I say, Tom and Bob, did you remember my package? Was it actually my package that Tom said was on Ben's desk last time? Mm -hmm. Or was it something else? Uh, has it been lost in to the postal void? I need answers. Ooh. Ah, um, I'm pretty sure it's your package mm. on Ben's desk. We do get a lot of packages. I'm pretty sure this one is yours. I haven't opened it yet, though. Tom didn't let me. No. He's going to have to save it. Secrets. We have a gift, Ben. This is a what? gift sent from Relics. Relics. Thank you for the gift. Well, let's not thank him yet, actually. Let's wait and uh, see what it is. <laughs> Where, uh, look, it's just what you always wanted, a bundle of newspaper. Oh my god, I haven't seen a newspaper for 30 years, Tom! Uh... Where did they find it? I don't know. But would you like to unwrap? Would you like to unwrap your gift? I don't know, do I want to? Do I want to? Probably. Gifts are always fun, right? It's not a foot. Are you sure it's not? Did you check it wasn't a foot? I don't think it's a foot. But it could be a foot. Something's a foot. <gasps> oh, gotta be careful not to break it. Oh my god! It's La Crelle! Can we get a zoom? Is that possible? Because if I put it too close to the camera, the light won't be on it. It's Krell, painted up as like a French Napoleon guy. He's got like, got like a Napoleon Ooh la la, hat. it is me, Le Krell. <laughs> How do I get this in focus? Okay, here we go. I'll hold it still, and then TJ can work his wow. magic. It's La Krell. Oh la la, sacre bleu, la révolution. Boom, you La Krell. <laughs> I can't believe someone made this. It is I, Le Crel. <laughs> Sacre bleu. Sacre bleu, Heinrich. Madame Guillotine will feed well tonight. We're off to Le Montreal Abbey. <laughs> yeah. uh, Le Crel, amazing. Oh, very, very cool. He's even got, he's got a baguette on the base. Oh, vive Le Crel. Yeah, well, he ate it, but that's the problem with skeletons. Oh, nom, 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 and then just through. pulls out the ribcage. <laughs> He's got a box of Le Snock Bars. <laughs> Le Snock Bars, famous uh, hit reporter and candy maker, <laughs> Le Snock. Oh, he's amazing. Real cool. Who gets to keep him? I think we put it in the cabinet in the office. Uh, oh, yeah. Farewell, TJ. Thank Good you night, for TJ. Your Thank assistance. you for your help. Um, oh. Yeah, there's like a big, big cabinets full of toys. I'm amazed the banner survived. Yeah. Because he's like a real old lead model. Yeah, it's real nice. <laughs> what was the banner added? Did Krell have his own banner? I think he had a banner. I mean, it wasn't a French flag, obviously. I don't um, know if he did have a banner. Almost every model had a banner back in the day, didn't they? That was pretty standard. There he is. He does have a banner. Wow. Fucking Krell. Krell! <laughs> 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 Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking great. <laughs> Fucking good. Thank you. I love I love a novelty miniature. They're the best. 